Hi, welcome. This is Health Mantis with me, Dishan Kumar, and today we are in Intermark Mall. Now, we are going to be talking about autism. Now, autism is a disorder that affects the child's uh, social interaction, also communication skills. Now, it's easy for you and me to communicate and to talk to each other and to be in a social setting, but for a child who has autism, uh, it's actually very difficult. So, we're going to explore this. Uh, I'll be talking to a pediatrician from Glen Eagles, Malaysia, Dr. Ng, about diet for autistic children. Uh, what is the type of food that we need to give a child that actually has uh, autism? And also, we'll be talking to Mr. Mama Adil, who is the founder of uh, the Autism Cafe Project. It's a very, very interesting story. We join him and talk about his story and his child, Lokman, on their journey in uh, trying to manage or to handle autism. So join me in today's episode. This is Health Matters with me, Dishan Kumar. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because a lot of people have talked about autism and right. the whole uh, issue with it. What about uh, diet? Because I know, I know that your angle is, is what they eat actually affects how they are. So maybe you can talk a bit more about that. What about diet? How is diet important for, for some of these children? Um, a lot of autistic kids, uh, they have gut issues. Uh, they they uh, they have they they have tough abdominal pain. Uh, they have abdominal bloating. They have food intolerance. They are constipated, or they have uh, uh, they have frequent diarrhea. So um, uh, all over the world, uh, families have found that some families have found that when they uh, try on gluten casein free diet. Uh, they, the kids calm down a lot. Um, uh, they are more engaging, they move faster in therapy, and their uh, bowel habits improve. Uh, gluten uh, is wheat, oat, barley, and rye. We seldom use rye in this country, but it's mainly wheat, oat, barley. Uh, they need to go on try they need to go on gluten-free bread. Yes. And um, Nowadays, there are some bakeries that provide this, and also there's a uh, there is uh, uh, the parents can learn how to bake themselves mm. using gluten-free flour like coconut flour, uh, rice flour. Yes. See that autism is a spectrum. Some kids they are just socially awkward. They are functioning normally. They they might just need very little therapy or they don't need therapy and they don't have gut issues, gut complaint, I don't recommend this diet. But for kids, that they, the parents will say that they are not engaging when they go for therapy, they are not. Uh, they have a lot of sleep issues, uh, they have th th uh, abdominal bloating, they have constipation, they have diarrhea, they have food intolerances, then, then I would ask them to try at least three to six months and see how they respond. So it, it, it's likely to be a multitude of things because of their, their autism, they have sensory issues and it's also, it might be they don't feel comfortable with what they are eating so, uh, and then their, their rigidity. So it's a multitude of things that causes them to be very picky eaters. The autistic kids, they have, uh, they have gut issues and you know most of the, our immune system is linked, linked to our gut. So because of that, they are, they are reacting to, to, uh, to food and to dust mud, to environment around them. Okay, it's a hypothesis that uh, it's a, a hypothesis, but a, uh, we, from uh, many families that I work with and from, from all over the world, they find that improving their gut, because our gut and our brain, there's a highway. Yeah, so it's linked by the vagal nerve. There's a such a thing called gut-brain axis. So, uh, and uh, our our gut is linked to our immune system. They need to make sure that the kids drink uh, plenty of clean, filtered water. Uh, they need to make sure that the kids chew their food properly. Uh, they need to make sure that they have good regular bowel habits. Uh, and then they can try on uh, first, they can try on gluten, casein, soy-free diet and, and see for three to six months and see whether they, the child responds to it. If the child respond, have good response, then they, they can see whether they want to continue or not. I think every child is different. This diet is not for... It. Some kids will respond. So I have seen kids that even recovered with it, but there are some kids that they, uh, it, uh, the parents see little improvement. 
then they might can try on other diets or, or other things. Yeah. So, what would the type of diet you recommend that they should uh, try? Gluten free? Uh, uh, I, if they they try on gluten casein, it's gluten and casein and soy free. If they try on these diets and it's still not, I suggest that they work with a, a biomed doctor, work with another doctor to look into a, a, a trying other diets or to see why is it not responding. Thank yeah. you, Mr. Ali, for joining us today. Most Maybe welcome. Maybe you can start off by talking about the Autism Cafe project. Maybe you can explain a bit more about that. Yeah, um, we created this about three years ago. Um, the sole focus for me um, is getting him getting him to be independent. Mm. Maybe not 100%, but you know, at a certain point, he has to be independent. Mm. So we set up this cafe actually for him. Uh, but not to forget that there are so many like me outside there, you know, in the real there, you know, so we expanded to, to others too. The whole idea is to find a place where they can be independent, you know, the, a place where they're safe to work, you know. They are, some of them, you know, very straightforward, they don't understand, it's not black, it's not white, it's, it's somewhere grey area, they don't understand that. So this is a place safe, this is a place, a place where they can be themselves and uh, it's a place where it trains, it will train them to be independent in the future. The place where they can work. When you have to understand, you were talking about my son, you know, so I can, I can offer you the perspective of because of my son. You know, autism is a spectrum. At one point you have very intelligent, at one point you have very severe case, you know. And you're talking about my son, which is, which is, is not being incredibly gifted you know super talent he, he he's not able to draw he's not able to play piano he's not that but he's somewhere somewhere in the middle to the severity side you know um, so what's going to happen to him if i don't do something about it securing a, a job outside is impossible nobody will hire him i mean Brutal truth is that nobody will hire him. So, if I'm around, I'm okay. I'm, I can take care of him. You know, one point in life, you move on to the other world. So, what's going to happen to him? So, there must be some sort of mechanism, some sort of environment there where he is being protected, and he can be a productive individual to the society. So, hence I created the Autism Cafe Project for them, for him as well as others. You know. So this was in what year? When, when did you start? This was three years back. You know, what happened was way long back before, you know, I have that thought already, you know, what's going to happen, what's going to happen, you know. Uh, and finally, at this age, you know, it's now or never, like, basically. So, yeah, uh, it always thought, what's, I was always I was think of, you know, there's a couple of ideas that we have, which is the um, the three thoughts. You know, when when we wanted to start this, it was uh, laundry, it was uh, it was uh, laundry, uh, cafe, and um, car wash. Laundry and cafe, laundry and car wash doesn't give the opportunity for them to grow, and doesn't give a chance for them to actually communicate. You know, we got. Uh, you, Look at the laundry. You just give coin. You, when you wash the dish, when you wash the car, it's you and the car. There's nothing. The car can't talk, you know. And the, the washing machine can't talk, and they can't talk. You know. So obvious option is uh, a cafe. Largely, as I said, he loves water. So how you manipulate this so it'll be beneficial to him, you know. So cafe is to me a perfect opportunity for him. The proudest will be from Hon Kit. Mm. You know, we have Hon Kit. Uh, we, we, he, I hope you don't mind. You know, Hon Kit listens there. I hope you don't mind. Uh, when he came in, he was a bit. Um, he's not rude. Uh, he was a bit negative. Not to say a bit like quite negative. I would say you know, but you can't you can't blame him any, anyway for that. You know. Um, 
he was, as I say, it was quite negative. Um, but now he is working at data entry company. Uh, I, I still, I still have this gush about Honkin. I was so proud of him. You know. uh, I went to when he left. He joined uh, I, up in one uh, hypermarket. I was walking with him, mm -hmm. and along the way, the bakery section, he someone came from behind, you know, and tapped my shoulder. And I turned around. Lo and behold, it was him. <laughs> He talked to me, he asked me how I was, you know, come over, you know, it's an entirely different person. My God, I, I, I always have this gush of feeling, wow, you know, you know, you have six, six months bonus, but this is an entirely different feeling. You change people's life, you know. So we have that and we have uh, Imran who is now working with the horse riding company. And we have um, can't recall what's his name. That boy who's who's working in the KFC. You know, there's another one who is helping his father. You know, I'm I'm okay. We 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 don't keep them. The idea is for them to be a productive society and they can earn a living from there. We can't. As much as we want to, we are unable to match the one that offers by the private sector. You have insurance. You have. You know, EPF, so, so whatever it is, you know, medical, we can't do that. So we encourage them to go out, you know, and be in the real world. So the one, but those who are unable to, we get, retain them at the cafe. You know, him, I, I'm, I'm happy he is in the cafe. Uh, the next one, uh, we're going to open up our new cafe in Shah Alam, which is on this Sunday. Again, I'm terribly proud of it. I wish I could shout to the world, you know, hey, I've done this, you know. But the whole idea is for them. It's not me. Uh, we, I don't want this project turned into something big like franchise and stuff. I don't want that. It has to be neat. It has to be small. So it's about them. So when you have it too big, you, you tend to lose your direction. Instead of them, it will be about the money. And you'll be drowned in operation. I don't want that. So it has to be small and they need that. The cafe actually, uh, the project actually split into two areas. One is the cafe, another one is the handicrafts, you know, okay. and, and cookies and stuff. So, uh, at the cafe, um, basically all in, uh, we have about uh, 18 of them. Four at the cafe, another 14 are the part timers. You know, the bread and butter for this project is actually catering. We can't survive without catering. We don't depend on donation, but we work. The point is to get them to work. So, we created that outlet for our catering. Um, we have part-timers. You know, we went to the hotel, they have the part-timers. The same concept, but these are all autistic youth. So we get them to work. We don't give them money, but we give them job and they'll be paid. You know, we, if you give them money for out of nothing, what's the point? They need to learn, hey, you need to, lead, you need to actually work to earn your living. So we get them to work with us at the catering and we pay them. You know, they are so good to work with. They don't keep whatever negativity inside. What they meant, they will say it. You know, even though it's hurt, it's, they will say it. But so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So so yeah, we have. Even though we have, you know, it's we have 18 of them and 18 different characters. But I'm, I I don't have any issues because as far as I'm concerned, I'm ready, and I expect whatever coming from them. So it's not much an issue to us, you know. Yeah. I think First and foremost, it's the child. You know, it's the child. It's the person. It's a human being you're dealing with. You know, you're not dealing with chairs and table. You're dealing with your son or your daughter. So look at the perspective for their best interest. I knew coming from my experience, it's like, you know, denial is something huge. You know, to accept him, it took mountains, like, You know, so you need to accept them as they are. You know. Yeah, you, how long do you want to keep your denial? For all you know, if you keep on denying and they are 19, what's going to happen to them when not not around? 
how do you fix a 19 years old adult which has already has character, you know, has feelings, you know, how do you fix that? You can do it while they're young. But to the point of 19 years old or 20 years old, I would say it's too late. So, brace yourself. Don't deny. And you know, accept them as they are and start building their life. Their life, not your life, their life. So be understanding of their world, not ask them to be in our world because their thinking is different. So I guess put aside your pride, put aside your 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 yeah, I said your pride of not having a perfect child and walk to his future. My journey with him was not was not a bit of roses. Like. It was it was a, a rough journey um, and almost tore us apart. Um, he, as I said, um, because of my inability to accept him, so there was abuses, both physical and mental, inflicted to him. You know? So, um, but what wake me up was this, you know, he, he's human. He has feelings. You know, he may be like this, but trust me, he understand word by word. But he, he just can't articulate what he wanted to say. He just can't. Uh, you know, you know, put it in his face, or not? He can't do that, you know. But he has feelings, you know. So what happened was, um, you know, every time the the journey got rough, you understand, right? When the journey <laughs> really hit, but when the journey got rough, um, he was on the receiving end. So he just looked at me. Every time it happens, he just looked at me and said, it's like, why? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why? You know, that, that look, you know. So it was on and off, on and off. It just got to me. Lah. It just got to me. It doesn't, it doesn't happen on one day, but along the way, it just got me. It just got me. So when um, I finally accepted, that's where the other journey came in. You know, the first journey was, inability for me to accept him the second journey was inability for him to accept me because the the, the things that I did to him was affecting him mentally so another rough journey was getting I would say winning his heart back that was another difficult journey for us uh, but I had to go through that I had to go through that you know I, I, I had my mother last time, my late mother, so she was the one who come for me, I have my wife. But sometimes, you know, this is not enough. You can't simply, every time goes to your mother, hey, you can't simply tell your wife, hey, I'm having this. She had enough work, enough issues, you can't just, you know, you're the, the head of the family, so you've got to be responsible. So I wish those days, we have a, a, a more support, uh, community support, I would say. So they will understand us better you know we went through we went to the supermarket you know those days we got we got the look from the parents you know you don't have to say anything i i got it you know i got it and it's very hurtful it's very hurtful so i guess support system today is much much better much better you know internet now you form what whatsapp group you know endless one i would say yeah. but those days we got nothing you know? so i was struggling with myself so i guess that doesn't help at all I've done as much as I can. I'm, I'm not quite sure if that's enough. I wish I could do some more, but I'm doing the best that I can. I, I'm not professional, to be honest with you, I'm not. So my, my method of teaching him might be different, but I, I'm basing on my experience, you know. I guess this is the best that I can do. I wish I could do better, but at this point, I felt this is the best I can do. Okay, uh, a good example would be him. Um, he has certain level of intelligence. So parents sometimes they said, "Hey, I w uh, you know my uh, uh, my son, I want him to be a do uh, say say a, uh, uh, an executive." Whereas you knew he is not designed to do that. So you can't expect him to perform as what you wish him to be. You can't. He's not there. So you have to look at their ability. To what point? then you start planning based on that, you know. Education is good. I'm not throwing academic education is bad. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But to him, it's not that. To him, it's life skill. 
I don't mind he, he doesn't understand I'm able to write but I am happy and I am contented that he's able to wash the dishes so that is also education so don't stress too much on getting him to you know say recognize alphabet you know but I would say I my son on my son case it's not about learning alphabet or able to read but able to actually um, have a life skill that's my direction I might be doing this but it might it might not be applicable to others others may be education you know so I'm basing on my um, experience with my son the first phase is setting up a cafe which I'm done uh, I don't want to expand too fast you know. um, then the next one we a centralized kitchen uh, that's our target the next target you know what we wanted to do is this um, at the moment the cooking and all done with from my wife from my house with what with him so other boys don't have that benefit so what we wanted to do is to find to set up a house that we can renovate and create a semi-industrialized kitchen where you know we have girls and boys who have certificate in culinary bakery nobody wants to employ them why because it's artistic so I hope this centralized kitchen will took off and we'll be able to actually accommodate those who has qualification. You know, um, it doesn't have to be in that in industrialized version where in the room very, um, you know, the, you know, automate nothing. It's very much manual and um, I hope if someone out there, is there if there is anyone who is, um, who has loads and tons of money, you know. If they can provide us all this equipment, a house probably, we're trying to manage costs here, you know, for us to run this project, you know. So I hope it will expand at this moment for, for KL, for, for Subang, and definitely it won't be a franchise base. My next thought is to find another parents which we can groom into similar thought as I am, it has to be small. It can't be big because when you have big organization, your focus will go on the money and not the boys. If I were to do franchise, I would drown into operational. So I won't do that. So it has to be small and... and so if people want to know more about the Autistic Project and more about yeah. the Autistic and all about it, where, what is it? Okay, uh, we have our Facebook, Autism Cafe Project Malaysia, and we have IG Autism Cafe Project. And uh, this Sunday, we are launching our first uh, cafe uh, branch in Shah Alam at SACC Mall. We are working together with Head Start Academy. So support us, come over to the cafe and buy something from the cafe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 <laughs> right, thank you. This has been Health Matters with me, Dishan Kumar. Today's topic was autism. Now, we have talked to Dr. Ng and also Mr. Mama Adli about their own perspectives of the uh, diet uh, in autistic children and also the Autism Cafe project. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please like all our social media platform videos and also comment on them and let us know what would you like us to cover next. My name is Dishan Kumar. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.